U.S. immigration officials are defending their actions after civil rights activists accuse them of setting deportation traps for undocumented immigrants who are legally trying to change their status. A new lawsuit filed by the ACLU claims at least 17 people have been arrested by ICE agents at citizenship offices around New England so far this year. All 17 are seeking legal status through family connections to U.S. citizens, such as marriage. As Jeff Pegues reports, the ACLU argues this should protect their path to citizenship. I was crying. I felt like I, my body went into shock. Lillian Calderon, an undocumented immigrant, and Luis Gordillo, a U.S. citizen, were shaken when an interview to confirm their marriage back in January turned into a bust by ICE officers. What was flashing through your mind? Oh my God, I'm never going to see my kids. I'm not going to see my husband. How the ACLU challenged Calderon's detention and secured her release after nearly a month. Now they are suing the government on behalf of five couples who all had almost identical experiences. You think they were trapped? We know they were trapped from the documents that the government itself has provided. Those documents include emails that apparently reveal coordination between U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services and Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, and their alleged attempts to hide it. In one email, an ICE official asks a CIS employee to delay a citizenship interview by 15 minutes so two immigration officers could get there to make an arrest. In another email, an ICE employee proposes that CIS spread their immigration interviews apart to avoid negative media interest from multiple arrests around the same times. So do you feel like you were set up? Yeah. You do? Oh, yeah. Fabiano and Cara de Oliveira are not part of the ACLU lawsuit, but faced a similar situation at a different USCIS office. They were like, well, we're going to approve your your marriage because it's real. We're going to give you the paperwork. So you must have been thrilled when you yeah, heard that. Yeah, it was great. And, and then he told Fabiano that ICE was in the back and they wanted to speak with him. In a statement, ICE called allegations of inappropriate coordination between them and the USCIS unfounded, insisting that what they're doing is lawful and legitimate. But the ACLU disagrees, saying federal regulations protect their clients' path to citizenship. This is not about the government pursuing a law and order agenda. It's about the government stopping people who are trying to follow the law. But the ACLU believes that this should be a class action lawsuit to protect those trying to get a green card from getting arrested. There will be a court hearing in the case in the federal courthouse behind me on Monday. For CBS This Morning, Jeff Begays in Boston. Thank you, Jeff.